Welcome to Planetary Imaging, DSLR. The digital single lens reflex camera is a somewhat expensive camera that's very popular. It's the best camera for many applications and people are expecting that to mean that it should at least be a good camera for planetary imaging. The best camera for planetary imaging though is a webcam that's been designed just for that. At best, the digital single lens reflex camera comes in second place. The first thing that people are surprised to find out is that they won't be getting millions of pixels worth of planet. For example, a simple formula for the width of Jupiter in pixels is Jupiter pixel width equals the diameter of your telescope in millimeters. I explain how I got this formula in my video on which Barlow. What this means is that if you have an 8 inch telescope, Jupiter will be about 200 pixels wide. It doesn't matter that your DSLR chip has 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. Jupiter will be about 200 pixels in diameter. Of course, you can spread Jupiter out over your entire DSLR chip. But then each pixel will just see a tiny portion of Jupiter. And getting less light, it will take seconds per frame rather than the more typical 50th or 100th of a second per frame. Before digital cameras, the only way to get a good planet picture was to send your camera into space to get above the atmosphere. The atmosphere makes stars twinkle and can make the planet look like this. By taking many pictures in a fraction of a second, you can get some good sharp images, or at least some pictures with part of the planet being sharp. Even if it is somewhat warped, the sharp pieces can be combined to make a single clear image, and then further image processing gives us something more Hubble-like. You may have noticed that we never had sharp pictures of the planets taken from ground-based telescopes until digital cameras came along, and the way it's done is to take thousands of frames over a short period of time before the planet rotates too much. To get good pictures with a DSLR, you have to make it work like a webcam. People have taken nice pictures of planets using a DSLR. Some DSLRs can be used for planetary imaging, while others cannot. Your camera needs to have a crop mode, which will allow you to make a movie at high speed of the central portion of your chip, perhaps just 640 by 480. There are some DSLRs that have this ability, but their frame rates are typically not as fast as what you would get with a planetary webcam. Another feature of webcams that were designed just for planetary imaging is that you can get uncompressed images. Not all DSLRs will allow you to take a high speed movie at 640 by 480 without compression. The DSLR is heavier than a webcam. If you're trying to image with a large telescope on a lightweight mount, then adding a heavy camera just makes things worse. Connecting a webcam to your telescope is very easy. The webcam just plugs right into the eyepiece holder in place of an eyepiece. To attach a DSLR to your telescope, you'll have to buy some connection hardware, which adds weight and expense. The point of this video is to give you a heads up on the issues of using a DSLR for planetary imaging, and hopefully to encourage you to go straight to the webcam and avoid the time spent finding out that the DSLR is not the best camera. If you still want to use your DSLR, then check out the links I provided in the video description. There you'll find a link to an ebook titled A Guide to DSLR Planetary Imaging, which shows you how to use Live View on a Canon DSLR to get nice planet pictures. This is the end of this video. If you would like to learn more, then click on one of the four quadrants of the screen to watch another video. I have a video titled which webcam, where I talk about some of the webcams that are available and show you my favorites. In the video, Which Barlow, I show you how to get close to the optimal focal ratio just by knowing the size of your camera's pixels. In the histogram video, I show you how valuable histograms are in all phases of planetary imaging. To see a list of all my videos on planetary imaging, then click on the bottom right quadrant.